Yo, what's up team? Mr. Trees, back again with another regular video of How to Solo, episode 10 in Dungeon Quest. So the first thing we're going to do is claim our daily. Alright, so we're already off to a good start. Once again, we keep getting a better helmet, so that's going to put us ahead by a lot. Helmet shouldn't be that expensive to upgrade, but to be on the safe side, we're just going to go upgrade it. I mean sell and then upgrade. I don't know what I was thinking. This is going to give us a huge boost. And there we go. We're even more powerful than we were before and we got 4k base health. So let's get straight to the point. We're going to do some King's Castle. Insane, not hardcore. And yep, let's get started. Now King's Castle is the dungeon. It finally starts getting interesting because of the fact that um, when you do Pirate Island, Pirate Island Up Nightmare has two sets of armor. And as you see, we're still in armor from Winter Insane. And then we had the second best Nightmare Helmet. So we're going to see how well this goes. Alright, so we can still kill them pretty quickly and fairly well. Nice, nice. So the Helmet did give us a nice little boost. And we got more base health. So obviously I'm still Glass Cannon. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, it kills them in 8 hits. Alright, alright. Yeah, if it weren't for the helmet, we wouldn't be able to kill them in one flame. Eight, there we go. So we can still use two phantom flames. It works pretty well. Not to mention, since we're still in the winter armor, we still run faster than a normal mob. So, yep. Man, when this game is going to give us some better armor? Alright, I'm going to try to see if I can test my speed out for one of the kings right here. The king's guard. Here we go. Alright, so obviously they move pretty slow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this armor, you, you, you just move faster. Everyone should know that at this point. Well, at least for those who've been watching the series. So here we are at the first boss, the Beastmaster. Definitely cannot get caught by any one of their attacks because they can one-shot me. I don't know what the recommended help is for this dungeon. I'll have to check it out after video. Obviously, they do more than 4K. <laughs> now they're going to... He's going to do it right here for the middle. I'm going to stay through the sides. And as for his final attack, you only have to worry about if you're a warrior or if you're too close. Ah, he lived. My minimal damage done. Alright, we're going to finish this guy off right here. There we go. I should run faster. It's just the little mages that can probably kill us. Let's see. Alright, yeah, we do run faster than them. They can't catch us. And then that guy, he attacks too slow. And the troops do not one-shot us, but they do do like almost 3k damage. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the recommended health has to be at maybe 10k at this point. I don't know. Like I said, I'll do more tests. And then we got one of the hardest bosses, probably one of the hardest bosses um, new players might ever face in a game, the Archmage. Because this is where RNG really starts to kick in, but I don't know. For me, it don't seem to be much of an issue. I mean, I'm just constantly shifting from shift lock to non shift lock. And of course, I got the winter armor, so I can run even faster. So, yeah, if I recommend you going glass cannon, you better make sure you can at least do like 200k per tick. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle a lot. So, if you don't have a legendary from the previous dungeon, you definitely wanna make sure you have like a full a full like blue or purple second best set and then the first best set is called the godly there's godly warrior armor and godly mage armor you definitely want to make sure you have the godly otherwise you're going to have quite a struggle here look how much hp they have it takes eight ticks for me just to kill them and i'm doing 230k per average tick and i run faster than them thanks to the winter armor so that's a bonus now I know most of you guys are probably luckier than me, so you might not be in this Winter Elite Mage Plate Armor or Elite Warlord Plate Armor, which is the Warrior variant. So you are going to move slower than those King's Guards right there, because normally they're a little faster than you. So just a quick heads up, you might not be able to outrun them. You might have to use two Phantom Flames and run away from them. So that way it can minimize your chances of dying. Because the reason why I still got the extra speed is because I'm still in the Winter Armor, since the game keeps giving me better helmets. I should make a series, is it only possible to beat the game by using elite winter plate armor and, you know, use any kind of helmet. That would be a good one. Another dumb ideas. I mean, technically we're already doing that, so why not? Oh, look how much easier it is to dodge his attack. 
All right, the king should definitely be easy. Just keep on moving. Look how we got a little bit more space for him. His third attack. And he's going to make the screen go dark, which is probably one of the most useless moves in the game because all you got to do is just keep on moving. Yep, just keep moving straight when he's about to jump on you. And just keep, like, you can do side to side or you can just, yep, just keep moving in a straight line. King ain't really all of that. I'm just hoping we drop something good. Now, obviously, there ain't going to be no legendary for this video because this is insane and you can't get legendaries in insane. But knowing this ult luck, if there were legendaries in insane, then I'm pretty sure it probably would have already dropped it. GG's and we got Warrior Helmet. No need for that. We got the mage. Alright, so we did pretty good, guys. So from this point, I'm pretty much just going to fast forward it, see if we can get up to hardcore and... Now that you guys have an idea of how you can beat King's Castle, even with a Winter Insane set, Pirate Legendary, and a King Insane Helmet from Daily, hope you guys enjoy.
All right, team, we are back after being muted for like almost an hour. Man, I don't really know what to say. I'm pretty surprised we did pretty well while being really undergeared when it comes to armor, but yo, the maximum speed boost you get from this armor is amazing, and we still haven't got any better mage armor. We did got a decent weapon, but I'm not going to upgrade it because of the fact that um the legendary is still better. The legendary is still better so i don't really recommend if you have the legendary from pirate island and you're going into king's castle if you get any king's castle weapon i do not recommend upgrading it unless it's a level 71 requirement the reason why i say level 71 is because it's the best they have like a weapon like one of the best weapons in king's castle for warrior and mage has a level 71 requirement if it has that requirement then it's worth upgrading if not it's not really worth upgrading Cause then you're just gonna waste your gold and you're gonna be poor so yeah if you have a legendary and you're from pirate island do not recommend upgrading level 70 weapons just wait until you get lucky enough to drop a level 71 and you should be all good and there we go we were able to max this out almost 7k spell power so that's about it guys if you enjoyed this series let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions or any other random ideas the series is still continuing I'm going to do a part two of this, release it to the public. Hopefully we can get armor so we can do hardcore or maybe I'll just do hardcore without the armor. Who knows? Still in this winter insane armor, guys. I mean, look how poor the spell power this is and the base health. <laughs> like, but it gives us a maximum speed boost though. Like, we run faster than the normal mobs. You normally do not run faster than the mobs. So yeah, if you guys having trouble dodging the mobs, this armor is the way to go. But just make sure your helmet and your... Weapon is OP, because then you're going to be doing some weak damage. But that's about it for this episode. Like and subscribe, share to your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next time on the Solo Series. Always stay connected to the Earth. See ya, team.